Um, thank you very much for those unnecessarily kind words, Mike, but um, good morning to everyone. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that I'm delighted to see Mayor Bing here um, to join us for the ceremony this morning. And when I thank you, I do want to thank each and every one of, every one of you for being here. You know, withstanding the weather and everything else that's going on to kick off the 2012 United Way campaign for Southeastern Michigan, and in particular for the, this torch lighting event this morning. It is appropriate that we gather so early because every day is a fresh beginning. The poet Ralph Waldo Emerson said of a new day, begin it well and ser serenely and with too high a spirit to be cumbered with your old nonsense. This day is all that is good and fair. It is too dear with its hopes and invitations to waste the moment on yesterdays. And we're all aware that southeastern Michigan faces very many challenges, but the torch lighting is all about looking forward and coming together in hope. Life is made of turning points. Our hope today is that this is one of those moments that forever changes our community and our way of looking at the future. The men and women who work at Chrysler appreciate how important it is to get a helping hand during a time of, during a time of crisis, giving us a chance to change our destiny. And the Metro Detroiters have also gone through tough times more than once, and they've always demonstrated the courage and the determination to get back up on their feet. And these experiences give us the strength and the hope to move forward, to repair what has been damaged, and ultimately to build something which is much better. Given the overall needs and with the area's economy gathering some strength, I'm pleased to announce that we now set an ambitious goal to raise $35 million this year. And looking even further ahead, United Way is set as a goal of making this region one of the top five places to live and work by 2030. That may seem like an audacious target, but I've seen the results when Detroiters make a wholehearted commitment to accomplish very special things. And in order to help the region make this leap forward, United Way for Southeastern Michigan has sharpened its focus, concentrating fundamentally on three areas, education, basic needs, and financial stability. It is addressing these areas of need with innovative social programs that are designed to achieve measurable results. And these include increasing school and after-school breakfast participation in 40 target school districts, helping 297,000 families and individuals to obtain food, to stabilize housing, to get legal assistance and other types of help in their time of crisis, expanding early learning communities which support parents and caregivers by providing early education training and tools to create a literacy-rich environment in 9,000 homes, substantially increasing graduation rates and reducing chronic absences by 25% in the first year as schools supported by the United Way Venture Fund in assisting nearly 30% of active enrollees in the centers for working families to increase their net income in just one year. As you can see, many of the United Way's initiatives address the needs of children who cannot fend for themselves and their families. We can hardly expect to achieve a lofty goal of making this area a dynamic place to live and work if we can't help our children break out of a devastating cycle of worrying about whether their basic human needs will ultimately be met. It will be unethical, it is unethical, to simply ignore these needs. And it will also be a waste of human potential that will be self-defeating to our other aspirations in the region. As some of you know, last October we brought 250 members of Chrysler's leadership team to the United Way headquarters in Detroit in order to gain a deeper understanding of what the organization does and how important it is to the region. I've been told that this level of commitment was something somewhat unprecedented, but actually it seems to me natural considering how much Chrysler owes to the city and to its people. I had the chance that day to observe the staff answers call 
211 calls. And 211, for those of you who don't know, is similar to the 911 system, except that it's for people who need emergency assistance with food, with shelter, finances, or other issues. And I was very moved by hearing the very many calls that were coming in, and I was impressed by, by the capabilities of those that were working the lines, who combined passion and professionalism in the way in which they handled the request for help. The visit that day gave us the opportunity to appreciate on a gut level that United Way is not some faceless institution serving a faceless community. It has an impact on the real lives of thousands of families in need every day. And through its work, United Way is emblematic of the spirit of the people who live in the Detroit area. It is an expression of their generosity, their sense of moral duty, and their desire to turn this place into a better one. These are the things that bind us together as a community, and the future ultimately is in our hands. And we have faith that we can collectively make it a much better future. So I ask you to join us in supporting the United Way torch lighting. Together we can nurture hope and build a stronger and better southeastern Michigan. Thank you very much, and now I'll turn it on to turn it over to Mike. Thank you very much. We're going to count down to 10, from 10, and then I'm going to shout out, light that torch, and just by chance, it should ignite. Are we ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Light that torch! Is it on? Yeah.